Salvaging an EVE Online is a great way to make some extra cash if you're new, and we're going to give you two fits in this video, one for beginners and one for an intermediate EVE player, and I've been using it to clear all my level fours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Name's Loru, digital advertiser, content creator for the better part of 10 years. We talk fast here. We move even faster, okay? With the last EVE videos, well, thank you for enjoying them. We're going to try to not have such a long video this time <laughs> as we have. Well, they, t they tend to keep on going, you know what I'm saying? So let's just dive into the fits. Here's salvaging so no secret here if you're a veteran to eve online this will be the beginner fit this is your catalyst okay this is a galente a freighter or freighter what is it called a destroyer i haven't flown this in actually seven years so it's a destroyer okay and its name is a catalyst all right and here's the fit that you're gonna be running from it it's very easy to afford only nine million isk if you're a new player it's relatively within the possibility to afford this fit it's only nine million isk easy to go get if you're doing some level one some mining etc this is going to help speed up your income in eve online so let's just get going with the fit we get three tractor beam level ones you're gonna see a lot of level ones at least all of them are level ones on the on the base catalyst fit here okay and then you're gonna have five salvager ones okay you need to be able to pull stuff in and you can only really go 20 kilometers out with the tech ones we'll show you the other fit that can you know give you some more distance there but for this you're going to be zipping around in the catalyst you're going to be pulling stuff in you want three tractor beams so you can be salvaging the stuff that's behind you while you're zipping in between stuff okay so that's why we got three and five uh the mid slot is just an afterburner again you know trying to go for as cheap as possible a thousand meters per second is plenty fast you're going to be able to get around and do whatever you got to do nothing in the second mid slot my cpu and you know whatever it is just can't handle anything else and quite frankly you don't really need anything else in this kind of ship so the lows were going to have uh, two signal amplifiers to increase the number of targets that we get up to nine this way it's going to be what is that three plus five you have just over the amount that you're going to be salvaging slash tractoring at the same time and really help you with uh, the speed at which you do this because that's the name of the game when it comes to salvaging get in salvage your stuff and get the hell out you know so finally you're going to have an expanded cargo hold just in case you got some leftover mission uh, items in the area you know you can throw it in there and have a good time get on back one trip hashtag one trip am i right i think i am and then for the rigs three small salvage tackle ones easy enough right so this is pretty standard for salvaging uh take this for a spin if you're new and check it out but if you're an intermediate eve player you want to see the big boy yes this is the noctis ladies and gentlemen this is an expensive ship the fit we got coming in here is just over 110 million it can get more expensive if you would like it to be i don't have a lot of the biggest baddest gear on this because quite frankly i just don't care enough for the small percentage increases that you get eve is a game of extremes if you want to trick this out you can i just want to stick with this okay so a noctis is such a massive upgrade from the catalyst for a couple reasons first of all uh the tractor beam range is increased for every rank of your ore hauler skill okay so at rank four our tractor beam tech twos go out to 82 at rank five it'll go out to plus 100 which is incredible and of course the better salvager durations fantastic stuff this is going to speed up uh, all of your salvaging i get in and get out there's about 20 wrecks and it takes me about five minutes to go in warp there get the stuff and get the hell out of there okay now we are in high sec but you can use this uh this build in low sec too if you're quick uh maybe throw in a shield extender and call it a day so let's get into the fit all right so we're gonna have th six salvagers now I'm, I'm training up for salvage twos don't judge me don't judge me i have other priorities marauders are expensive okay thank you very much so we got six salvager ones why six because you can target up to uh how many things to, can i target to 13 targets with this bad boy okay with the again we're gonna have the single signal amplifier threes in the lows we're gonna target a bunch of stuff and you're just gonna be salvaging five separate wrecks with five salvagers and just cycling them all the way through why more salvagers on this because since you have a better range with the sm two small tractor beams going out to 80 typically i'm parked because i use my my mtu the mobile tractor unit when i'm doing missions uh they're either most of the wrecks are in one spot or a couple of them are a bit far out and you just go pull them in salvage the rest call it a day again five minutes that is the name of the game we do have two speed boys on here a afterburner tech two this is for your uh, you, you tap this to be able to warp faster you can see the aligning is about 14 seconds if you tap this it takes about nine or ten seconds to align and you save that five seconds it matters when there's a ganker in the system and you got suicide gankers out in jitta and you're trying to get the heck out of here if you 
don't pick up on this you're vulnerable if you're salvaging you got to be careful okay so the next one is a micro warp drive just because there might be some freaking you know wreck that's super far out and i got tired of waiting so instead of putting a shield extender on there i just put a tech one micro warp drive on there feel free to snap a tech two again not trying to get too expensive 930 plenty fast for me okay we briefly went over this but we got three signal amplifier ones in the, in the lows to increase the number of targets you're going to use the full 13 you're going to use them all because you got five you got other salvagers queued up uh you've got the two tractors going you're going to use all of those targets okay and then finally we've got medium salvage tackle ones so those are the two fits i cannot recommend having noctis in your repertoire for your money making as much as i would if there was a better ship okay so this is this is the ship that you want to fly ladies and gentlemen if you're trying to salvage uh let's hop into a clip of actually using the noctus i'm going to go do a level four i'm going to finish it quite quickly with my navy dominix fit if you want to see that video go check it out in the playlist the eu playlist we got on our channel we got the full fit for you i'm gonna go do the level four and then we'll show off the noctus okay we'll be right back all right, we're going to get into the how-to portion of this video in just a moment. I just wanted to show y'all as I warp into the level four how you're going to do this. This is called a mobile tractor unit, okay? You're going to launch this bad boy, all right? And then that's going to just be passively collecting all of the wrecks as you do the level four. So we've got, this is a level four mission. Whether you're doing a, you know, level two or a level three, not really needed so much in level ones, but I highly recommend it in your level fours. That way you can just pull in all the goodies while you're doing it. And then your salvage run is that much smoother. So we'll be right back once I've cleared out all this, we're gonna pull the Noctis in and you'll get some uh, value out of that. So we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the Noctis with our Rex, and we're just gonna go ham on these. You see it, we're locking on, and you just get a little bit in range, and then you start going. Okay, and we're gonna activate all of our salvagers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, boom, boom. And if something's targeted far away, you can pull it in with your two tractor units, but if not, you just keep on going with the Noctis, okay? This is the power of this. You got all of these salvagers going off at once. If something's far away, you can pull it in, and the MTU, again, really makes this build happen okay the mcu makes all the wrecks be in the same spot so you can just go ham this is it this is what you do and you'll see look how fast we're going through this look how quickly we're able to just churn through all these wrecks and this is going to be a couple hundred thousand maybe a million worth of isk so it's not necessarily going to pay for the noctis in one or two runs but again it's not just about paying for the noctis it's about the diversification of what you're going to sell in e if you're going to be able to sell yes the mission items that you get from doing the actual mission but also the wrecks and the salvage that you get from the wrecks you can sell that too it's just another way to make money in eve so and look, we're almost done. We got, what is it? Five, three, two, one, boom, boom. And one more wreck left, and that's it. That's the final section here. So we're getting ready to dock, and that's that. So that's it. Salvaging in Eve. You got two fits to help you out. We got some other videos coming up for you if you want to know how I make money in Eve, how I made about a billion isk in a month, only playing a couple hours a week. If you want to see the Eve Dominics, the Navy Dominics fit that uh, I use to clear level fours quite efficiently, if I do say so myself. It's a hybrid gun and drone uh, PVE build. Go check that out. Those videos are coming up right now, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.